wearing my Young Americans for Liberty shirt today just to show I got some cred. How you like that? Is that, uh, is that libertarian enough for you? Let's get into it. Being libertarian said taxation isn't theft? Sure. One guest writer, once. And he's wrong. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but kept putting it off. That is, until the mod for one of the most milquetoast libertarian Facebook groups decided to post this piece. I've seen it hundreds of times before, usually posted by some authoritarian hack trying to play gotcha games like, See? Libertarians even say it isn't theft. So this will be a response to this article and a few other claims I've seen. Taxation is theft, and Stephen Thomas Sadovsky needs to stop. I'm sure this subject has already been done into the dirt, so call me Gravedigger Jeremiah and grab a fucking shovel. Let's hit it. So the first thing of note is that this piece is four years old. Maybe his views have changed. I don't know. When I tried to find him on social media to reach out for comment, I couldn't find anyone matching his exact name anywhere. Whether he doesn't exist on social media or whether he's one of the many thousands of people who block me, I don't know. Not really relevant. What I do know is that this falls below the minimum threshold of many high school essay assignments in terms of length, so don't expect much depth here. You won't get any. My response to this will be far deeper and more thorough than the source material ever was. Second thing to note is that this guy is a Libertarian Party guy. The piece notes that he's a member of the Libertarian Party nationally and in Massachusetts locally, where he lives. So yeah, you get what you get. Milk Toast opinion piece posted unironically by only the most Milk Toast Libertarians, the Gary Johnson of Pieces on Taxation, which makes sense since the author is, quote, a proud member of the pragmatic wing of the Libertarian Party. He advocated and volunteered for the Gary Johnson for President campaign, whose election gains granted major party status to the Libertarian Party in Massachusetts. But even Johnson, in the same year, told the Washington Post that taxation is theft, yes, going on to say, but the reality is that we're not going to abolish taxes. I mean, if I'm elected president, you can expect me to sign anything that reduces taxes. Link to that interview in the description. So, even his guy disagreed with him. Even Gary Bake the Damn Cake Johnson understands this ethical issue, so why doesn't he? What gives? Well, one reason is just stupid fucking semantics bullshit where he's wrong on all fronts. What's that then? If you think about what it means to say taxation is theft, you're endorsing the notion that government has come to you like the thief in the night taking your money and left you with nothing in return. Unfortunately, that is not factually or grammatically true. Yes, the government does take your money by force, but you do get something for your tax money, and by definition, that is not theft, it is extortion. I will grant the anarchists one thing. Taxation is extortion doesn't roll off the tongue the same way that taxation is theft does, but I'd gladly sacrifice marketing for accuracy. Stupid, stupid point. Let's start by looking at what the word theft means. Theft, as Oxford puts it, is the action or crime of stealing, which is to take another person's property without permission or legal right and without intending to return it. Notice the or. This means that even the government and people the government supports can steal and be thieves. It only needs to meet one of the qualifications to qualify, and that it does, handily. They take your property without permission required, they stole it. Further research, noting the etymology of the word from the great folks at the Online Etymology Dictionary, cites that the word thief comes from an Old English word meaning thief or robber, which means also that all of the people saying, it's robbery, not theft, can shut the fuck up too. So. Why do we see this bullshit about it being extortion and not theft? Well, extortion is the practice of obtaining something, especially money, through force or threats. That's, um, uh, theft. 
The fact that force and threats are necessary necessarily implies the act is accomplished without permission. Like, let me get this straight. If I take what's yours in front of you without permission, that's theft. If I do it while you don't know, that's theft. But when I do the same thing while threatening you with violence, it's somehow not what it was? Bullshit. It's just theft with adjectives. It's theft with a job title. It's theft even if it's also extortion or robbery. What an asinine distinction. And as to the point of getting something in return, what the fuck does that change? Nothing. By that token, gangsters offering services for protection pay are ethical because it doesn't matter how they obtained what they have as long as you aren't left with nothing. Value equations, determinants of how commensurate the product is with the price, none of that matters because this isn't a market. It's an extortion racket of unaccountable thieves. They don't need permission, so they don't have to provide value. If they do somehow manage to do so, it's not the result of an individual deciding on their merit, but rather a happy coincidence wherein the gang's interests and the interests of commoners overlap. He even later admits the state is nothing more than a mob, saying this, Taxation is extortion, much like the mob protection service offered to shop owners in the neighborhood. You may not have asked for what government has said you needed, but you are getting something, whether it be a library, a highway department, a consumer protection agency, or a recreation center. Begrudgingly, you may actually benefit from it. Fuck you! Don't steal from me, and then mock me by saying it's okay to act like the mob because books are neat. This is why real right libertarians, ones outside the Johnson camp, like the price system, as heavily touted by many Austrian thinkers, because they capiche that economic calculation problem beleaguers most, if not all, government spending programs to the point of conceptual and practical defeat. Translation? It ain't okay just because you gave him an attaboy afterward. So now that we're past the point of saying these words changed what it is, let's see what other asinine trash he threw in there. Quote, The only person who does not believe that we need a police department and the various agencies that uphold contracts and protect us from companies that would pollute for greater profits is an anarchist. They actually believe that government is worthless. They believe that... If every government agency and department went away, that the town in which they lived would magically be taken over by a wave of volunteerism and self-sufficiency. Shut the fuck up, boomer. Anarchists don't believe in magic just because we oppose your theft racket. And if anyone does, the statists do. First, you thought that if you uttered the incantation of false semantics, you could strip the theft out of extortion? Yes. Well, you can't. Get used to that. Second, the real magical thinking is the idea that a monopoly on violence, which runs on extortion, is somehow the best arbiter of justice and provender of needed services to the masses. You know, the ones they extort. The extortionists you support. Th those ones. Third, we evil anarchists don't even necessarily want rid of what you listed. We just want to be able to decide to fund them or not fund them based on the quality of their services and our ability to pay. Instead of being stolen from to pay their checks. No matter how broke we are or how shit fucked their quality is. Fourth, Anarchists are indeed the peaceful solution compared to the extortionists you're defending. I'll let Robert Higgs address this. Quote, Anarchists did not try to carry out genocide against the Armenians in Turkey. They did not deliberately starve millions of Ukrainians. They did not create a system of death camps to kill Jews, gypsies, and Slavs in Europe. They did not firebomb scores of large German and Japanese cities and drop nuclear bombs on two of them. They did not carry out a great leap forward that killed scores of millions of Chinese. They did not attempt to kill everybody with any appreciable education in Cambodia. 
They did not launch one aggressive war after another. They did not implement trade sanctions that killed perhaps 500,000 Iraqi children. In debates between anarchists and statists, the burden of proof clearly should rest on those who placed their trust in the state. Anarchy's mayhem is wholly conjectural. The state's mayhem is undeniably, factually horrendous. So, like... Now that you spent four paragraphs out of seven essentially saying nothing, what else did you say? Quote, To them, taxation really is theft. If the Libertarian Party is not careful, like a Trojan horse, we'll have allowed the anarchists to lure us into a logical inconsistency, usually reserved for Democrats and Republicans. Why run for office if that office is worthless? Why have a party if the system in which it operates is a scam leading to theft? So... This is the only interesting point in the piece, but it highlights a point even Johnson well addressed. You don't run as a libertarian to do anything but reduce the state. If you do, you really are a hypocrite. How can you justify being exactly like the mob if you claim to value liberty? How can you say you extort people and belong to the party of principle? How can you claim to be a part of a third party while being functionally identical to the other two? Pro tip. You can't. So the only way to justify it is to say that you'll be reducing the size of the behemoth theft racket. Admit that the other two parties are fine or to get out of politics altogether, which is what I did. But don't claim to be in an extortion ring and then flex some ethical or semantical card on us. Dense motherfucker. So how does he finish this? Quote, Instead of being trapped by this errant slogan, libertarians should be arguing how to make the necessary functions of government fair, efficient, and constitutional. If we make pragmatic arguments, not only will we be grammatically and factually consistent, but we will act like the adults in the room, worthy of election. And that's why we have a political party, yes? So... Ignoring that this paragraph can only be uttered by someone who owns at least 20 pastel polo shirts and 10 pairs of beige khaki cargo shorts. Let's just get this out of the way. Nobody needs to take a word of his advice. If these functions of government are truly necessary, they will be funded by a willing group of people or done even in a moneyless fashion by some of the less capital-oriented libertarians. We don't need his undefined, amorphous, unstated pragmatism, fairness, or constitutionality in order to just buy what we want to buy and do what we want to do. Hey, Stephen, if you're listening, read Human Action. Read Econ in One Lesson, read No Treason, get back to me, because at the point of writing this piece, you demonstrated a thorough lack of knowledge of libertarian precepts. Hell, even just reading Bastia's The Law would get you better equipped for these talks, because the fact that we don't want government doing something doesn't in fact mean we don't want it done. And you're siding with people who falsely claim to be the law? It's trash. And... Just to knock down a very trash point that will come up, yes, even if you want to pay it, it's still theft because it's happening whether you want it to or not. Such a stupid idea that it in any way doesn't qualify as theft. Fuck. Now, I want to be clear. This is not a condemnation of being libertarian. They allow a diverse array of opinions on their site. Hell, they're one of my longest term Twitter followers too. This was posted by the staff because the author is not a regular writer. He just sent them this and they published it, likely for comment. For some context, author Steve Kerbel posted this to the site about a year later. Quote, The knowledge that taxation is theft is morally correct, but absent positive changes from this acknowledgement, this realization amounts to no more than the booby prize. So is taxation theft? Simple answer, any demand to pay assets which does not have the consent of the payer is indeed morally some form of theft. He goes on to say that the phrase itself might not be good at eliciting a good response, and maybe different tactics are in order, but that it's still absolutely factually true. Harry Wilkinson, in direct rebuttal to Stephen, cuts straight to the chase, saying, quote, Black's Law Dictionary gives a definition of extortion as merely a specialized form of theft. Under extortion, Black states, 
extortion is closely related to bribery and robbery since they are all forms of theft and larceny. And he even argues that it's, quote, necessary, which I argued against here already. Maybe he'll see this. Hell, another author, Matt Wavley, also said, quote, I'd say that the consumer's right to regulate each market that he voluntarily participates in is a much better representation of his individual needs or wants than any market he's forced into. This tyranny of control results in far less representation long-term considering all groups, then if each individual had represented themselves with purchases to his or her own liking. The fact that using violence or the threat of violence to remove property from another is immoral, it is theft, ought to be the only reason necessary for any moral person to hate the practice and seek for its immediate and permanent abolishment. So my points here should not be taken as a condemnation of being libertarian. It's a good outlet for the most part. They just allow contrarians on at certain points. Hell, I'll be letting them know about my vid once it's up, and they might even boost it. They've been known to boost my jazz before. But let's be clear, Sadowski sucks. Assuming he hasn't changed, he has bad ideas, and he should feel bad. So if this article was posted for public comment, consider this my public statement. Taxation is theft. Stop being an extortionist, Steve.